Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lois Art. As always, my name is Emmanuel Okafo, and today I'll be showing you guys how to fix um, an issue in Blender that you might experience whenever you're rigging, and that's called bone heat weighting failure. So it's the most dreaded stuff you want to experience after you've created your rig or maybe generated your rig and then you try to bind your character and then you get this particular error. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I will select this character. So this is basically an asset which I'm working on um, currently and I'm trying to rig it. So if I select this character and shift select this and do control P, automatic weight. Um, so you can see the dreaded error which you don't want to get because um, previously it's it's, uh, it's quite difficult to figure out how to work with this. Um, I have a tutorial on this channel um, that kind of covered it, but I felt it was quite long and took many steps than it should. So in this video, I want to kind of simplify it um, for you guys. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Um, what I would do is just hide every other thing that we don't need. Okay. Um, so the culprit in this scenario is this object. So we want to apply the amateur modifier. So let's duplicate this. Um, this is the first step and we'll move it to the scene collection so that we can hide every other thing. Okay, so this is the mesh. We can try it again. Select this and control P. Automatic weight, weight, weight and failure. Um, it applies everything, but it's not working. So to fix it, what you want to do is select your object, go into edit mode. Um, if you press A for all, you can select everything and hit F. Um, basically, what this does is to go in and fill up every um, open face, uh, any open face or anything open. It's just going to fill it up. Okay. Um, this is um, helpful for the remesh modifier. It works better when everything are kind of closed. So once you have that, the next step is to go select your object and go to the modifier. Okay. And you want to search for the remesh modifier. And once you have it, you want to leave it um, at the, in the voxel selection. And all you just need to play with is the voxel size. So for the voxel size, I'm going to try 0 0.003. And I've been I've experimented with this already, so I know the value that works. Um, basically, I, what I will tell you now is what to look for when you're using this remesh modifier. Um, importantly, what you want to preserve is like the hand. You want to use the hand as a kind of gauge if it's looking as expected. Um, usually, if you use lower value, um, you might get it start retaining the shape. But as you can see, there's still some weird artifact here. So you want to reduce it enough um, so you can get all the needed details like the hands. Um, so that you don't have to fix it later. So let's get it back to 0 0.003. And once you have it to evaluate you're more comfortable with, um, then you can go ahead and apply this modifier. Okay, so we can actually go ahead now and bind it and it will work. Um, but just to kind of speed up stuff to make things easier for blended during calculation, we want to optimize this mesh a bit. Um, so the way I'm previewing my wireframe is I have a shortcut for that But you could easily do that by going here and clicking on your wireframe and you can see how dense it is Okay um, So now we can optimize this mesh a little with the decimate modifier. So you want to basically just reduce it um, Not too much um, just enough so that it's not so dense as it is currently So it's going to take some time and you should have something that looks like this so once you have that, you can hit apply. And once it's done applying, we can now select the mesh. Shift select the rig, control P with automatic weight. So this should fix most issues um, you're experiencing. So I will just go over it again. The first is you um, select the object and fill up all the faces by going into edit mode and hitting A. To fill up the faces, the next you want to add the voxel, uh, voxel remesh modifier. Um, basically, you want to get it to a value where you can see all your necessary details. Um, finally, you want to optimize the mesh. So we've optimized it and it's finished um, binding. And as you can see, we don't have that error and it's working as expected. Importantly, we want to make sure the finger 
works um, separate from any other mesh okay so it's active behaving as it should and this is a success um, to bring everything together um, what we want to do now is select this mesh go into this object tab and go to viewport display by default it's set to textured um, you want to switch it to bound and now we can enable this our main character and now we want to select this character and go into the modifier stack and we want to add a data transfer for the source we select this object which we just rigged and for the uh, final step we want to enable vertex data so basically we want to copy the vertex data of this object um, so once we do that um, let's see um, you want to check on vertex group and once you do that you just click on generate data, um, data and hit on apply now we can up add the amateur modifier and select our rig and that's all you need to do you can delete this once you're done um, importantly you want to select this shift select this and control p object so this is how it usually is when you rig a character and so we're just replicating that and as you can see we have our character working as expected so that will be it for this tutorial i hope this was helpful uh, if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me please don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, i have a link to my discord though it's not very active um, i'm trying to grow it um if, it, if it's something if it's getting traction then i can um, make it like a more of a priority um, but for now if you want to check it out you can use that to contact me also my information is there if you need to um, message me about any questions and also you can comment okay so bye bye for now see you next time